in a hopeful manner to see if this is actually working or not. Um, I see that I'm up. Whether you can hear me or not, I don't know. Let's just double check. Uh, what do we got? Have I still got no sound? Have I still not failed that? Sound check. Check, check, check. What do you think, Karem? Can hear you fine. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, Karem. Thank you, Miss Carol Z. Hello, Angry Educator. I'm not going to launch into the chat right now because as you know, this is a burn and learn. Um, I'll give you a second just for people to, to, uh, to figure out that it's actually gone live. But um, I'm streaming off my laptop now. It's actually working. This is so good. Um, and good call, Karem. <laughs> Do the sound check right away because my son is not only probably very aware he's also got his friends there too so the last thing i want is his friends checking in with me and seeing me babbling on to myself um in silence so uh so yes why don't i jump in on this um uh hello <laughs> i'm it's so weird doing this live because normal i'm used to just doing it to the to the to the um uh, to the iphone so all right Hello, this is a burn and learn. This is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son, who's probably watching. Um, and to enjoy the coming toilet years, my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane, who never stops working. Uh, I hate exercise, it's boring, so I like to learn something while I'm doing it. Then I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest, most miserable, self-indulgent, and now live way possible. Um, and I've gotta be careful on this. Um, oh, sorry, Hapshade, yeah, I. I keep meaning to put the 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 burn and learns onto YouTube. What am I doing? I'm not supposed to be talking to the chat. Stop! Stop distracting me, squirrel. Um, so uh, I did another uh, 50 minutes today. So five zero um, again at the torture device set to seven resistance. Um, it's just miserable. It really is miserable. Um, but what is not miserable is the learning part. So I have been watching these. Uh, Tinkercad videos by Autodesk, and uh, they're all aimed at teachers. So some of the sort of the lingo is is beyond me. You teachers, you just love your words. <laughs> you love your terms. Um, uh, but uh, I'm slowly working my way through that stuff. But what's really nice is just they're showing us how to use uh, sort of a virtual makerspace, which of course right now is really, really important, both for me and my tech bandits and for people with kids and all that kind of stuff. So just sort of exploring what you can do with Tinkercad. Um, and they just got some great ideas. It's just, it's, I mean, again, these are all ideas that are based on them actually being able to do some practical stuff as well. But right now I know we can't do that. I figure at least we could do is lay some groundwork, maybe get the kids to play with a virtual circuit instead of a real circuit if they don't have access to that stuff. Um, play with some virtual 3D models instead of actually getting to 3D print them. There's some really cool features with the being able to do, uh, turn your 3D models into Lego, turn them into Minecraft, import them into Minecraft, that's stuff I wanna look at. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I've just been working through these teacher workshops basically, or webinars as they call them. Um, and uh, so yeah, this is like the third or the fourth one I've taken. This is sort of taking, a, this is what it's called I think, um, taking a makerspace mindset to, uh, to education, which uh, I guess I, that's, yeah, I guess that's my approach. Um, and the weird thing about the education thing is so, okay, Baz, Bratlett tends not to love school. I don't know where he gets that from, um, but uh, he tends not to be, uh, uh, tends not to be big on the whole going to school thing. He tends to like it once he gets there. Um, but I'm telling you, he's loving this online stuff. Now, I don't know if it's because he's getting nothing done or because he's just chatting with his friends, but he really does seem to be enjoying it. Like he's, he gets, a, he gets his little mission. He goes off and does it. He works with his friends on it. They get it done. There's a bit of yelling back and forth, depending on who's goofing around when. Um, and um, they, uh, they seem to be working really well. So I have a feeling that this is going to make a difference to education moving forward. I mean, like not trying to look at the silver lining of a pandemic. I'm not sure there is one. But um, from an education standpoint, I think it's kind of interesting that maybe we could start taking this online education thing a little more seriously. Um, I know that one of the issues that the, the teachers had with um, uh, with the whole strike action stuff that was happening before the pandemic, um, so boy, there, I mean, the kids' education this year has just been a disaster in uh, in Ontario because of, of, of the, this combination, this this perfect storm of, of, of terrible, terrible things. Um, but the reality is that um, one of the things they were fighting was they didn't want online courses. They wanted to, they wanted to keep it in the class, I guess. Um, and uh, I, I think, uh, I think we're going to find that that's probably not the best way forward. Um, 
And of course, we've got to figure out how to make that work for the teachers and for the students as well. But uh, while there's, I think, a lot of growing pains going forward with this stuff, it's uh, um, it's kind of neat to watch to watch the kid with it. Now, keeping in mind the kids in a small class, you know, they're pretty they're you know, they're they're a pretty sort of involved class and stuff. So um, we'll see, though. I mean, we'll see. I'm I'm very curious to see how marks work and and how you know he says he really likes the math because he just goes off and does his math and he has if he has a question he just texts his teacher and then they have a little chat about it and they move on. So it's just, it's pretty cool. Um, uh, but anything else I need to mention before I get into this? Uh, yes, more 3D, 3, 3D, uh, 3D shields being printed. Um, I must get them to the dock. Um, I figured it's probably safer to give them to her and then have her take them down than it is um, uh, for us both to go down. Um, you know, she said the picture the other day of her with these giant goggles on and the mask and I just, oh, it's, it's, you know, her... Her um, uh, her doctor partner, I guess, in her practice is is down with COVID now, so it's just uh, it's. Uh, I think it's going to get uh, the next couple of weeks going to be pretty pretty hairy here. I think. Um, anyways, uh, I'm certainly hairy. Uh, in fact, I got to shave. Yes, because who are you at? Mercenary Prince was saying, "How was the audition?" I haven't done it yet. I've been putting it off. I'd much rather be talking to you. Um, so I've got to do that later. I figured I would, uh, you know, do my exercise, shave, make myself look a little prettier, and then. Um, and then do the audition. Um, the lines are, there's not a lot of lines. They're kind of fun. Um, total jerk, as always. Um, you know, that hilariously miserable Hewlett approach to, uh, to acting. So looking forward to that. Uh, what do we got? Hazmat Jackson says, I've tried online schooling before personally, and online classes are only effective in very specific types of people. It involves a lot of willpower. To be fair, it's both good and bad. Some kids who find it awkward to talk with other kids make it a lot easier. Glad to see you're doing well. Uh, thank you, Hazmat. Um, yeah, definitely. There's some kids that it's very, very difficult to do the online teaching with. Uh, I mean, I'm lucky in that I don't teach. I, you know, mine is just all about just trying to inspire the kids. So it's just trying to find things that get them excited. Um, and I have definitely found that Tinkercad's a great, a great sort of way forward with that. I'm sure there are other ones as well. I'm sure there are other great resources um, and possibly even tools. I play with Fusion 360 as well, which I absolutely love, but I think it's a little advanced for the, for the kids right now. Maybe just a little advanced for me. Um, but yeah, there's some kids that just it, I try to get their attention and even online is almost impossible. So they've got to be interested in whatever they're doing. But I would argue that that's the case anyways. Most of the kids that I have in Tech Bandits or a lot of the kids that I have in Tech Bandits, I think are, aren't the easiest kids in school. Um, they don't really fit into that mold. They don't fit into that sit at the desk and do their work type stuff. They like to move around. They like to, you know, um, sort of uh, raise a little hell once and again, once in a while. Um, and, uh, and I don't really blame them because frankly, that's sort of the way I was. I didn't really cause trouble, but I, I certainly I certainly didn't do a lot of work. Uh, and I found that the classroom situation just, uh, I, it was, I've never been, never been less happy than I was when I was, when I was stuck in a classroom, uh, which is weird because I, most of the topics I was learning are things that I'm absolutely fascinated in. So, you know, anyways, uh, what do we got? Um, Mercenary Prince. Uh, didn't McKay fit in really? McKay didn't really fit in. I guess maybe he did. I mean, I think just because he just happened to be with the right people. Um, uh, I'm very good. Thank you, P7. Uh, good morning from Pac-Mom. How are you, Pac-Mom? Are you getting nervous? You getting nervous about talking uh, about talking careers with me? Hmm? Bet you are. Um, uh, what do we got? OMG. What's that? Look into the whole brain learning Look into whole brain learning. I will. Okay. What's what's the what's the basic uh, basic idea behind that? An angry educator. Are you truly an angry educator? Is that is that is that name gonna actually, that actually means like something about uh, about your life and career? Looking forward to our get together. Oh, good, good. Yes. Well, I'm gonna be talking to just so everyone knows. I'm gonna be talking to Pac Mom about uh, working as a dental hygienist, and the whole idea is that I'm trying to find people who are very excited about what they do, who are passionate about what they do, who enjoy geeking out about what they do. And then my, my hope is that I can geek out with them. Um, and I'm going to make it as awkward as possible by doing it in a Minecraft world. But I think we have godlike powers now, thanks to DSTAT, so I can actually fly around and, and, and well, mess things up even bigger. <laughs> Basically, I can do even more. I can do even more damage. Um, whole brain involves multiple senses to enhance learning, movement, speech, touch, etc. Yeah, I think so. I mean, now what the heck are those darn noises? Notifications. Does anyone know what those notifications are? What are they relating to? Are they uh, are they related to uh, the the stream chat? Is that what it is? Or any any ideas from from anybody on that? Um, people following me. Oh, is that what it is? Yikes! That is some loud following. Um, I mean, fantastic for the follows. Thank you. But um, but boy, it's uh, it's uh, it's a noise. It's pretty noisy. Um, all right, I'll just have to put up with it on this one until I get Bradley to figure it out for me. I'm scared to touch anything for fear of like taking this down. Um, 
Now, how is everybody doing with exercise? Are you, you if you're all stuck at home, has anyone has anyone tried doing some some exercise on their own? Anyone any, anyone having any luck with that? Uh, oh God, like powers, grant me an A in my classes without my having to work at it in the next two days. Good luck, Pack Mom. It all comes down to hard work. Hello, Jack Jasra. How are you, sir? Uh, Annette Band says, El "Old Man Hewlett, it's too noisy. It's too noisy. Kids, get off my front lawn." Uh, went for a walk yesterday. It was pollen filled. I know that's the funny thing is you come back from a walk and you feel like, oh my God, I've got COVID because you're sneezing and stuff. My exercise consists of gardening. Well, gardening's good. And housekeeping. Oh my God, the housekeeping. I know we do not pay. We have a lovely, lovely, one of the things I've, I've, I always said was, I said, even when I'm struggling for money, I will pay someone to, 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 to clean the house because I, I just, I'm, I am both, I am both incredibly lazy and incredibly obsessive. So there's this weird combination of like, I just won't do it forever because when I do do it, I'm in there like, like you know, with a, with a small, with a fine um, sculptor's tool trying to, try to remove, you know, uh, uh, stains on grout and stuff. Like it takes me forever to truly clean. So of course we've been doing it recently ourselves and, and I, for some reason, always end up cleaning the bathrooms. Uh, that's not fair. Jane does some, it sometimes, but I usually end up in the bathroom because I figure like that's, that's like penance for me. I'm like, okay, fine. You know what? Maybe I don't clean as much, but I clean the worst, the worst of the worst. Um, okay, what do we got? Uh, paid someone to mow the lawn yesterday. He had to style three quarters of the way done because he found a bundle of baby bunnies in the backyard. Oh, man. Oh, I remember that from Point Roberts. He used to find like little mice nests. Mice nests? Mouses nests? Mice nests. Nests of mice. Um, and, well, and rats, of course, as well. As long as, as well as like coyotes and, and, and all sorts of things. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine who said that, um, who was my friend of mine? My mom. I was talking to my mom. I talking to my mom in jolly old London, England. Um, and she was saying that there's a, there's a whole family of little foxes that are just like roaming around happily in, in her, in her local park because, um, uh, cause there's no one there. As I pointed out, she's not supposed to be there either, but she has a dog. So she's just a walk it, I guess. Um, yeah, they're pretty Pretty cute, those babies. Then they grow up. Is anyone watching that Tiger King thing? That Tiger or whatever that show is on um, on Netflix? We started watching it last night and I've just been, I'm just once again, absolutely horrified by mankind <laughs> in every way. Baz walked out. Baz was like, I can't watch this anymore. And he just left. He couldn't, he couldn't deal with it. Um, it would be, I would be hiking in, uh, where's NH? Uh, Right now, if I could travel more, I love exercise. That is fun. I hate my treadmill. Yeah, pack bomb. Treadmills suck. They're torture devices. For I call them that for a reason. Mine's actually an elliptical thing, so apparently it works on your arms as well. But uh, Tiger King is nuts. Let's just say I am not someone who's ever wanted a wild, you know, tiger as my as my pet. Um, you know, I not even I don't even feel like the snakes are particularly right. Uh, you know, I do I do like the lizards. I've got to say, I mean, the little geckos. I figure they're you know, there shouldn't be any harm in them, but, uh, but who knows? I'm beginning to rethink animals in general at this point. Uh, New Hampshire. Thank you, Pac Mom. Sorry. Ah, gives good rednecks a bad name. <laughs> Are they rednecks? Is that what that, is that what, I mean, the Tiger Kings, does that count as, as, you know, ooh, tarantulas though. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I wish I owned an elliptical. It helps to easily keep my form. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Pixie, I gotta say, well, I mean, you know, if you want a stunning form like this, I don't know what form exactly. For me, it's just trying to keep some kind of exercise going because I just worry if I don't do something, I'm, a, you know, I'm gonna, you know, I'll be a, a prime candidate for all sorts of things. So uh, we got the torture device God, probably before Baz was born. And I have been patching this thing together. I've become my father. Uh, I've been sort of like screwing on little bits and pieces just to try to keep it going. Um, and eventually I got to get a new one. But it, they're just, they're so expensive. And I'm trying so hard not to spend any money right now because you just, I, you know, we don't know when we'll be working again. So I want to be very, very careful. Um, at the same time, I've got like, um, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm sort of due for a, for a, a PC upgrade. So, uh, you know, cause my, everything's beginning to, everything's on its last legs right now. So I've got to, got to wait for the next big job. Um, that's the weird thing about acting, right? Is that it's not, you know, you forget that, uh, a little bit of money all the time is in a way, a, a much smarter way to approach your, your savings, as opposed to this sort of waiting for the big score when the big job shows up and actors tend to 
well, certainly I, have always tended to sort of go like, oh, okay, just got to wait till I get that one big job and then I've got money to pay for everything. And uh, Jane's been very good about sort of keeping me out of debt, basically. So we don't, we just don't borrow money because it's, it, that's just a, that's just a hole. Um, but at the same time, at the same time, boy, uh, there's, um, you know, it's uh, times like this where you're just like, oh my God, I like, really have no idea what's going to happen. I sh I'm sure everyone is exactly the same. I feel very, very lucky you know, the house that Stargate built, basically. Um, that's what Amanda used to say about her house. But uh, the fact that we have a roof over our head is, that's pretty much paid for. It's not brutal. The mortgage isn't brutal. So, um, you know, it's, uh, uh, it, it makes a big, big difference. My father was always big on that. Where his, He always said, like, you know, you can invest in the stock market and watch it go up and down and never know really what's happening. Or you can buy a house and you can watch the values go up and down, but you've got a place to live. <laughs> so that's kind of good. Uh, Pixie Rose is on the vanilla one now. Are you getting on the vanilla server or the modded? Pixie, I'm not actually going to play. I'm just doing a, a, a burn alert today. So I'm just going to come in. I'm going to pontificate for a bit, chat with everybody, and then while I cool down, and then I'm going to um, head on over and try to clean up this mustache so I can go and, and do an audition. So, But uh, this afternoon, probably, Pixie. And, of course, you're welcome to be on the server without me. I mean, obviously, that's uh, I hear... Uh, that uh, I hear that James has got a little obsessive about his uh, his phage garden, um, which we're not allowed to we're not allowed to write phage apparently in the, in the stream chat. Otherwise, we'll get uh, we'll get uh, censored. How are you, Pixie? Though are things going things going well? What are you up to? You keeping busy? Uh, oh no, because you were doing you were doing the it was an indie series of some sort, weren't you? I think Pixie Pixie also works in the film industry and is uh, um, has been. Uh, uh, has been, uh, of course, you know, <laughs> quite a slowdown since since um, since the shutdown. So, how are our auditions working? Well, I mean, let me see. What do we got here? Uh, what was that question? Let me see if I can scroll back up here. What have I got? Um, uh, Ruby K. This is an interesting little Freudian slip. Ruby K. Says, "How are auditions working with the social distancing?" I kissed the first few minutes of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's terrible social distancing right there, Ruby K. Um, so uh, the thing about auditions is I am, I've got to this point in my career where I, I maybe it's just more like in my headspace, where I just, I suck at auditions. I can't go in the room. I hate talking to other actors about stuff. I, you know, I love other actors. I mean, there's many, many lovely, lovely actors out there who I'm happy to see. I just don't like seeing them when they're all in the same room going for the same job. It doesn't feel right. It feels... I don't know how to respond. I, I, I get very anxious about it. And, um, and for some reason, as I've got older, it's become much more difficult. And I guess because as I've done less and less auditions, so I've, I've worked more and more, but there's still less and less auditions. Um, uh, and, and now that I sort of am sort of faced with doing auditions on a more regular basis, I, um, I basically got to the point where I just, I just do them from home. It's the only way I can do them. I don't, I don't, I feel like that's my best approach anyways I, there's generally the way i look at it is like this you go in you are it used to be they would look at a headshot like so a photo of yourself of you and they'd go like yeah he seems like he looks maybe right for the part let's bring him in um uh you know the way it works now same thing they 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 look at the shot they they, they want to bring you in i generally unless there's a producer and a director involved and even then sometimes i question it um i like to have um uh, a tape done first tape Oh my God, how old am I? I like to record something first and send it because the reality is I want them to see me do the job. I don't want to. I don't want them to see how good or bad I am in the room because it depends on my mood in the day. You know what I mean? Um, am I having a bad hair day, good hair day? Who knows? Um, you know, it's so much of it becomes about chance. Whereas if you could put yourself on tape, you get to craft a little seed, and that's the fun for me. The fun for me is the acting always hated being an actor love acting so the idea of being able to like craft a little audition scene with the with the lines you get given and and send it off to them that's fun to me and then once someone's seen that and said like you know what i think uh you know uh, i think yeah he definitely works let's go let's bring him in and we can work together on something although often it doesn't even come to that anymore usually you're being cast off like roland emmerich cast me off tape um uh Guillermo del toro uh cast me off tape um what else? I think I was cast off tape. Yeah, I was cast off tape basically for all the Stargate stuff. Um, uh, and then, yeah, so basically I, I, the majority of the roles that I've got are done are done at home, right? And I don't have anything special set up really. I have like a, I've got a kind of a funky little ring light, which is just a YouTube light basically. And uh, 
Uh, I got an old, uh, here, I'll find the camera for you. There you go. So I've got a little camera here. Uh, just a little old SLR. I mean, you could probably pick these up for next to nothing now, but it's just a nice image. It's, it's not, it's, it's one of those things I don't carry it around anymore because you might as well use an iPhone. It's got better, it's got a, a better, uh, resolution on the camera, but this has just got a nice lens. I find sometimes with the, um, with the, uh, with the iPhones that you get, uh, this is, there could be a bit of a weird distortion that happens as they try to sort of fit those, that big image down on such a, such a little, a little sensor maybe. Um, and, uh, you get a nice little, you get a nice sense of depth of field with this. And so I, so I, I use a traditional camera for that. Um, record it to SD and then just throw it in the laptop and pull out my, my, my selects, basically the ones that I like the most. Um, I've had Baz reading offline recently, which, uh, is interesting, should we say, but I just think it's important for him to see, I want him to see what the work is, if that makes sense. So this is what, you know, forget all the crap about, you know, openings and people being kind enough to, to help out on, on, on Twitch and, listen and care and audiences and, and all that kind of stuff. I want him to see what the actual work is. And and the work when it comes to an actor is auditioning. Like I think you get paid very well when you work because you spend so much time not working or you spend so much time trying to get work. So, um, you know, in a way acting is, you're basically getting paid to do job interviews. That's what you, that's what you do. And it can be really, thank you, Harklight. Um, that's a different loud noise. Um, uh, you know, I think it's a, again, I love that we can do this stuff at home now. So from an audition standpoint, it really doesn't change for me. What does change for me is my perspective on the industry where I start going like with a shutdown like this to hear people talking about making movies at the end of April and stuff, or I just, I sit there going like, I just don't know how, I don't, I, I mean, I guess that could happen. I guess that could work, but I, I just feel like, how do we, I don't know how you how you do that when you're seeing what's going on around you. I find it very difficult. Not I'm not overwhelmed by it, but just I find it very weird to get into a headset where I'm like, okay, audition time. When 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 it's like the world is it's nothing happening. It's like it's it's dead out there. It's bizarre. Uh, anyways, um, you know I love seeing things like um, Krasinski doing his his online show and and. Um, um, you know, Colbert doing his shows from the bathtub and stuff. I like seeing that kind of stuff. I think it's, what's interesting here is we're going to start seeing this, you know, what's the difference between a, a movie star or a TV star and a YouTube star or a, or a Twitch streamer star? Um, uh, and the reality is, I think there's a better connect between the Twitch stars and the YouTubers than there are with the, with the movie stars and the, and the TV people. Um, there's just been, there's always been, I mean, I grew up in the industry with the idea of putting a wall between, you know, oh, Hazmat, are you heading off? Uh, Hazmat, well, thank you. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for being here so early on and leaping in with questions. Uh, scaring him off as an acting career. Yes, Karem, basically, probably it's more of what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, probably a good way of putting it. I am probably doing more of scaring him off than anything else. Um, uh, Mercenary Prince being doing full-size replicator today. Wow, so many individual 3D printed blogs. Is it really? It's a pretty big model, isn't it? I mean, feel free to share it here if you want, 3D uh, uh, mercenary prints, if you want. Um, it's the it's it's uh, it's in sort of bug form, isn't it? Is that is that the one you're uh, you're printing? Um, all right, I must keep an eye on time because I don't want to run out of time uh, to get this audition off because I I do have to have it off to them by the end of the the end of the afternoon. Who we got here? Wendy Coroni or Coron? How do we say that? I'll just say Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Welcome. Is anyone else new here that we don't have? I haven't said hi to Miss Carol Z. Hello, Miss Carol Z. Ruby K. Of course. Uh, Jack Jasper, Pixie Rose. Have I missed anybody? Anybody I haven't said hi to who's who's new or missing out? Harklight, thank you again for making those crazy loud noises in my in my headphones. How do I share a picture? I think just click put the link in the um, in the stream chat should work. I think. Corrine, Wendy Corrine. I'm still going to call you Wendy. It's easier. <laughs> well, welcome, Wendy Corrine. Uh, and his star cat. Hi, how you doing? Mysterio22. Hello to you. Geezer Geek. Hi, 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 indeed. How are you, Geezer Geek? How are you holding up in all this? Jordan SG92. Hello to you, too. Commander Ventura. Uh, totes, says Wendy. Uh, Jean Dieta. Happy Tuesday. Just getting here. Have I missed much? Uh, just my whole burn alert. It's fine. It's, it was, it was, I chatted for a long time, but I had, but I had sound this time. It was interesting. Um, all right. What do we got? Uh, 
Uh, holding up by 3D printing. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Snack Run. What a great name. I should have gone with that. Snack Run. That's like the story of my life is going for Snack Runs, whether for me or the kid. Uh, love hearing about your life as an actor. Uh, oh, God. Am I talking about my life as an actor? Sorry, Monica Lake. Uh, well, good. I'm glad. I Look, I if I can help in any way from the technical standpoint, I don't know about from a life as an actor. I think I suck as a life as an actor because I, I just don't. I do everything I possibly can not to live like an actor. Um, I literally go out of my way. I think I do a disservice to myself trying not to be an actor sometimes. Um, but, but uh, you know, um, uh, but if I, if there's any, you know, if I can help with any of that kind of stuff, that's great. You know, Daniel, Daniel Muggum, you, you're new, but you've been here before, haven't you? I mean, you're fairly new in that I, I but I feel like I've seen that name. You've, you've, have you lurked before or something? You missed David's whole speech about leadership. Sorry. Yeah, Cal. Very good. And hello, Cal, by the way. Should have known Cal would show up for snark. Garmer. <laughs> yes. Yes, Garmer. I'm looking really good. And I look like I'm about to drop dead any moment. My God, it was a it was a workout. Let me tell you. Darn, I'll catch it later. Yes, John. You missed nothing. Frankie Viking. Hello. Monica Lake. Uh, what have you got? LOL is laughing at, at uh, Cal. Don't we all? Miss Carol Z. Love hearing about it. You're a working actor, not flash and glitter. I, look, I'd love to be flash and glitter. I mean, I'm sure if I was a, if, if genetics had been kinder to me, I could be. But I, I you know, uh, you know, you work with what you've got. And I think one of the most important things, there was a great line. Uh, who was it who said it? Um, amazing actress who I, whose name I've forgotten now because I'm terrible at names. But she, she did a couple, she was in a couple of the Avengers movies, I think. But she... Used to be on, um, she used to do the screensavers or something way back when. She's like a nerd. She's like a fun nerd. Hello, polynomial. polynomial. How are you? Terribly math-like. And Maruski. I mean, there's all sorts of new people here. Hello, Shanghai. How's my life? It's uh, strangely unchanged by by being by, by, by being locked at home. It's more of the same, really. There's just a few more people to talk to online, maybe. Uh, you're glowing. Let's go with glowing. Nice, exactly. I don't sweat. I... Glow. Um, what was the point? What was I saying? Uh, oh, right. But she was saying so. So this actress who I've got to look her up. She was who was the one? Does anyone remember what she's what she's called? Not Ashley Johnson. She was. Uh, she's got brown hair. Um, absolutely stunning. She was in. Uh, what was she in? I don't know what else she's in. She, she shows up in everything. She's great. Uh, not Ashley Judd. I worked with Ashley Judd too. Uh, she's more actress. More of an actress, I think, than than than. Uh, uh, I mean, she's definitely more like some people are more stars than actors, if that makes sense. And Ashley Judd, Judd, I felt was sort of more of a more in the star zone, if that makes sense. Felicia Day, she's great, Felicia Day. Um, but she's again, she's almost like not like an actress. She's she's more like a producer, or she's almost more like a YouTuber than she is a a uh, um, an actress. Not to not that she doesn't have the acting chops, but the way she holds herself, the way she interacts with her fans, and the way she she just you know she's just a part of the internet culture i feel like she's almost like an internet celebrity uh, personality more than a more than an actor personality personality if that makes sense um uh oh no thank you monica no no i take look one of the best compliments you can give me is is people say i'm not like an actor i'm like great perfect <laughs> mission accomplished um uh, okay, I've got to find out what this actress actor's name was. Uh, I'm trying to think what she would have been in, uh, and if I can do this without screwing up everything. Uh, uh, what on earth would she have been in? Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, well, does anyone is there a way to look up who was on uh, who was who was on the screensavers or the old uh, tech? Oh, it, was, it was G4 TV. G4 no, oh everyone's keep. Well, yeah, okay, so she was after Morgan Webb. Oh, I loved Morgan Webb, too. I thought she was fantastic. Um, uh, although Morgan Webb was kind of like almost led to the death of tech TV because they suddenly went like, hey, if we just have like like lots of hot young women and we talk a lot about video games and try to be hip and cool, everyone will watch us. And the reality was they completely misjudged their market. It was all old people like me who enjoyed listening to Leo Laporte talk about how to fix computers and stuff. And 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 it was a channel for geeks, not for like it wasn't a it really. I don't think it was a gaming channel. Do you? I mean, I I don't I don't think so. I look. I spend my life on Twit TV now. I think Twit TV is one of the coolest things on the planet. I mean, as and as a source of entertainment for me and news and everything. It's like it's my it's the it's my go to place. Um, 
Uh, I absolutely, I, what Leo Laporte's done, I think is incredible. I think it's just, I, I, I just, I mean, you know, I, I think it's, I think it's amazing what he's, what he's, what he's done. Um, okay. So who else, come on, let's, who else was on this is, you know, I'm, no, this is your mission now. I'm giving it to you. Find me. She was a, I think she was like an Avenger or a, maybe she was a, I can't remember if she was a Marvel or a DC character. Um, but she used to be on, I think she was briefly, she was on, uh, tech TV. I hope I've got this right. Um, and I can't believe no one's named her yet. Hello, Baked Goldfish. Baked Goldfish. Oh my God. What a terrible name. Baked Goldfish. I just have these. Oh, I guess you can think of it like the toys. I was thinking, I mean, like those little, um, the little snacks. Olivia Munn. Thank you, Angry Educator. 10 points. Thumbs up. Angry Educator. Olivia Munn. Which brings me back to the story I started 20 minutes ago. Um, you know, maybe I should, maybe I should talk to the doctor about those ADHD pills. Um, so, okay. So Olivia Munn said that she went to LA and she started auditioning and she was like, uh, she's like, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need me to be? I, you know, you want me to like this? What's that? Okay. What do you need? Yep. And then she would take the notes and she would do her whole, you know, she would basically, she was pr sort of prided herself on, on how she could, she would become whatever anyone needed for the role type thing. Um, that she would do whatever was necessary in the audition. Not anything that was necessary. That she would do whatever uh, acting adjustments that they wanted for her to do in, a, in, a, in an audition. And then after a few years of that, she wasn't working um, or she wasn't working on the stuff she wanted or she wasn't, you know, um, presenting the way she wanted to. And that was then she realized that they don't, they don't want you to do what they tell you to do. They, your only value, your only, um, your only value is your own personality is who you are. Is And if you, uh, you know, it's and it's it's one of those things that I struggle with all the time because I've always felt like I'm I'm like I've always felt that acting is like almost like a like a like a technical job where it's like you know you, you need me here yes and then I look here very good okay and then where do you need where's the camera going for this like I'm very I'm sort of very technically minded when it comes to it um, you know I feel like the emotion's my problem like I have to worry about that stuff myself that has to happen the most important thing to me and stuff that I struggle with the most uh, is trying to get the right sort of the, 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 the actual, the technical stuff down. So, um, baked goldfish, dude, I was a big fan of yours in Atlantis. It's so nice to see you. And you said my name, <laughs> you're actually called baked goldfish. That's amazing. Well, thank you very much. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm always, I'm always happy to have more people who like me <laughs> on this channel. So, so, so welcome. Um, okay. Mercenary Prince has got the replicator uh, link here. Let's have a look. Oh, Facebook. Oh, God, do we really have to? Service unavailable. Okay, so it might not. The links might not work. Uh, God, I hate Facebook. Let's give it a go. Uh, sorry, Facebook just always ends up... I end up then, all of a sudden, I'm watching like... Oh, no, it wants me to... Okay, forget it. Sorry, but... Uh, sorry, I'm not going to... that. The Facebook link is just opening up too many things. Hello, Angie Beckett. Um... Uh, yeah, there's like an error or something, or we've all been hacked, something. I who, who knows? We'll we'll find out. Um, so uh, yes, I do want to see that though, that replicator thing. Ideally, something that's not on, not via Facebook, if that's possible. There's got to be like, is there not a? There's there's got to be a link for it somewhere. Let me. Oh, of course I can't. I keep forgetting I've got two different computers, so I can't just. I want to be able to just drag from one to the other, but of course I can't do that right now. Me has hi people, love these earlier streams. Oh, I'm so glad. Well, it's sort of one of the things that I liked about um, about making these burn and learns live is that for the most part I try to do them early because to get them out of the way, honestly. Um, but uh, but unfortunately, as a res as a result, they will not be as long. Um, I do have to keep an eye on the time because it's like twelve thirty now. Like I really shouldn't be going much beyond like twelve forty five. Um, we'll see. Uh, post it on Discord. Yes, that works. Yeah, that works. Uh, my friend was very impressed with your performance in Pin after finally persuading her to watch it. It's pretty creepy, huh? That was my first like real job. Pin it was the first thing I'd ever done. Um, and so long ago that there that I had to do all my research at the public library. So I was like reading books on, I read books on, um, on Manson and all sorts of different hideous psychological issues and, and psycho killers and all sorts of stuff. Miserable research, but boy, I loved it. Really fun. Uh, that was a fun, fun part. I wish they'd do a sequel to that. They should definitely do a sequel to, to, uh, to pin sometime. You know, I always thought we should do one. I wrote a, a, like a, a very rough synopsis of, of an idea for a, for a sequel that would be, um, would be the character Leon sort of waking up 
basically. Um, and having just sort of like re-enter society coming out of a sort of one of these like this like psychosis indu induced like coma thing. Um, and then as you progress through the movie, it got weirder and weirder and weirder until you realize that he, he at the end, end of the movie, he would wake up. And the reality was this was all just happening in his head. Um, and uh, so you would end the movie with him really waking up when the reality is he just experienced this whole crazy stuff in his in his head. So, uh, you know, one of those like cheesy it was one of those cheesy student films where it's all the dream or bad TV, maybe is the better way of putting it. Um, trying to join Discord through invite page, not accessible. I, you know what, Mercery Prince, I'm not even going to try to help you because I this is a Baz domain. I, I can't even figure out Discord. I'm not even on Discord right now because I don't want to mess with it. I'm just using the stream chat. Um, all right, Garmer, all of my research in my undergrad was in the library. Now I get it all online. What a difference. It does make a huge difference. Huge, huge difference. Although I got to say, I still find myself going to the library sometimes just as a place to go and, and work. It's just a good way to sort of get out of your, get out of your space. And, you know, I have a few distractions around here that sometimes can get in the way. Not that I let them, of course. Geezer Geek. All right, we got a link. We got a link. Let's have a look. All right. Uh... Okay, that's the invite for the IC. Great. Okay, perfect. I thought that was a link to the replicators. Never mind. Oh, I thought you were going to say Pin had learned how to move in Leon's body. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, well, I don't want to make it, I don't want to ruin anything, but that's, that's kind of, anyways, we'll see. Um, okay, so that's the Iron Ham link. Thank you. LOL, I did that plenty myself. Um, yeah, I mean, I think sometimes you just, I, I find sometimes you just got to get a different headspace and, and, and the library can be good for that. Um, you know, I had a whole disagreement a while back with someone about, hey, Flare Spire, how you doing? Hey, David, I've been working on my own custom TARDIS, the Roblox of all things. One of the panels has something familiar to you. Atlantis Interface Crystal. Here's a print screen. Oh, that's great. All right, I'm looking, I'm looking. Here's a question, though. From a security standpoint. Uh, oh, nice. Oh, that's great. So funny, I never used Roblox. I used to. I thought I I held great hope for Roblox, but then excuse me. Um, but then I found that uh again. Um then I found that um the the um the chat was so toxic, like so horribly toxic, um, that I, I just couldn't use it with the kids. I just found it was too I was too worried about what was gonna happen on it. Um even myself, I found myself sort of going like, oh my god, are you kidding me? Uh, wait a sec. I just lost my... Oh, David. Now what have I done? Uh, I don't want that. I want my uh, OBS screen. There you go. Uh, okay. More messages below. Uh, I love going to old bookstores. Yeah, old bookstores are fun too. Even though I never really get books. Uh, sneaking in snacks was fun. Oh, really? Were we not allowed snacks in there? <laughs> I didn't know that. I just brought them in anyways. I bring snacks everywhere. Maruski, all the kids at our school love that game. There is definitely a contingent of, there's definitely a contingent of Roblox kids. And I loved the idea of Roblox because there's so much coding possibility there, right? So much stuff. This 3D design and all that. And I actually looked into using it. I used, I was importing, um, I was importing designs into Roblox to show kids how else you could, other than 3D printing, how you could use them. But again, I just, I mean, I could look at it again. If it's worth looking at, let me know. Um, there was recently a thing, there was recently like an educational initiative by Roblox um, that um, that I, I thought I could look in. There's just, there's only so much to, that I can focus on. Like I, as I get older, I get more and more panicky about how much there is to learn and how little time there is. So, you know, um, there's that side of it. So I've sort of been focusing on, um, I've sort of been focusing on um, uh, Tinkercad because of the integration with Lego and the integration with uh, Minecraft, just because those are just two nice, big, easily accessible things. Like you could say to you could say to a kid, "Look, design this, and then build it in Lego," knowing that most kids have a box of Lego kicking around somewhere. So, Frankie Viking says, "Oof, I don't know why." Angie Beckett says, that is why I stick to Stargate stuff for most of my internet use. Stargate fans are so much more pleasant than some other parts of the, of the net. Yeah, I'm always kind of shocked at how at how miserable it can get online. Um, because I've spent so much time in sci-fi communities. And sci-fi communities, for the most part, are pretty great. I mean, they get, you know, you get in some pretty nerdy discussions about, you get some pretty heated nerdy discussions about stuff. But um, uh, but that said, it's, um, 
uh, honestly, as a community, I'll take I'll take the sci-fi community over most of the others. I mean that that and the makerspace community, three D printing community is pretty amazing. I guess it just depends on the community, right? I mean, I'm sure there's great Roblox communities too, but you know, Stargate had some good moral values to it. Yeah, it was written by good people. I mean, that's the thing. I think you, I, you know, it was written by people who had a very clear sense of right and wrong and stuff. I think that that makes a big difference. Except all Stargate hates and still hates Doctor Kavanaugh. Here's the thing, though: you gotta have. It's fun to have people to hate. That's the whole point. Um, you know, uh, I always loved being hated characters. Uh, Weavy nerds are passionate. Yeah, of course they are. I mean, if you know something about something, then you you know you've got opinions on it. Uh, they should never have woke up Kavanaugh. Oh my God! Then we're gonna start a whole Kavanaugh thing again. The Elite Dangerous also good community. Are they really? I didn't know that. We found a lot of the shooting games were pretty pretty grim when it came to a community. Uh, Frankie Viking says Kavanaugh was good. Oh boy, there you go. Um, and now you've done it. Now you've started the Kavanaugh thing. Uh, the actor did an amazing job of being detestable. Yeah, it's hard to be detestable. It's very, very hard to act in a way that people hate you. It is. I'm going to sneeze again. Excuse. Uh. God, I sneeze like a smurf. Okay, um, I saw him coming else pretty recently. He was pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, it's again, he's a good actor. I mean, good actors are good at making you hate them. That's what they do. Uh, Kavanaugh took the heat off McKay when arrogance and attitude is concerned. I mean, there's always, yeah, there's always got to be someone worse. Hello, Evie. Uh, bless you again. Thank you, Karem. Uh, Garmin Salam, something else. What else we got? I am a Hutton trucker. What's a Hutton trucker? Should I know what that is? A Hutton trucker? Um, it sneezed the same way. It's apparently very unhealthy because I'm holding it all in. You know, one day my head's just going to explode. Um, how are we doing for time? It is 12.34. Okay, right. So I've got about 10 more minutes with you, all right? So if people have stuff they want to bring up, let's do it. Um, and another community is space engineers, I'm sure. I know, geezer geek. Um, for some reason, the what is it? I think Baz has the link for his space engineers. I've still got to figure out mine. Um, I've been really trying hard though, Geezer, to keep him on like a couple of different games as opposed to a million different games because otherwise we're just, we're buying new games every week. He wants a new one to try out. And, um, first off, we just won't be able to afford it. And secondly, um, I wanted to actually be able to focus. I like to be able to get like the Minecraft stuff for me as well. It's also selfish from my standpoint. For me, I feel like I can focus on Minecraft. It seems like a great one for education and for fun. Um, you know, I'm really loving how into it James uh, Gurney has got with his with his Phage stuff, and I think that's an example of what can happen. You know, when you when you sort of mix the learning with the with the playing, and so. I would very much like to do Space Engineers, but it's just a matter of, like, I just go, oh, my God, another freaking learning curve. Uh, anyways, okay, so I'm actually working on some voiceover auditions involving Stargate. Someone is making a mod in a video game is in need of Wraith voices. Ooh. I must say the auditions for some of those characters were fun. Did you do, like, a voice? Third Eye Storytelling, did you do a voice um, modifier? God, that reminds me. I haven't... Oh, I've got to get back to you, don't I? I haven't... I, I've, I've been so bad. I've got so much freaking email of late. I don't know whether it's because of the streams or whether it's because of everyone being online... But I got like a freaking million people uh, to 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 try to keep uh, to keep lines of communication open with it. It's like nuts. Um, uh, geez, okay. I think it's more of a David game than a Baz game, honestly. Right, right, and that's hard too because it's like I do try to find. It's very hard to find gaming time for myself because usually I feel too guilty playing by myself. I feel like I should be learning something or. Or, or planning tech bandit stuff or, you know, or whatever. But um, uh, but hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I will figure it out at some point. What am I saying hopefully? The reality is I've got to just book time to do it. I know that. But I right now I'm struggling to uh, to do that. Hutton Trucker are based at Hutton Orbital in Elite Dangerous. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. So it's an actual... Oh, I see. All right. The effect was actually... So where am I going? Third Eye Storytelling. The effect was fairly easy, simple. I created a second track, changed the pitch, played them both at the same time. Oh, cool. Oh, very cool. That's great. That's smart. I wonder how they... Did you ever find out how they did them on uh, on our show? What, what kind of a filter they used? In regards to the email, I know you're very busy and we'll get back to you when you have time. Yes, I'm sorry, Third Eye Storage. I will... I, I, I will is my, do I have my little book down here? I don't. That's part of the problem. Um, uh, my little book, my little book. I have my bullet journal, and, I, and if I if I can get things in the bullet journal, I tend to get them done. But um, I will have to do that. Mercenary Prince, what do you got there? Um, you shared your email on several streams, and people have a lot of time on their hands right now. So yeah, that's. Well, I guess that's true. That's true. And look, I'd love to get back to everybody, and I, I 
for the most part, try to. Some people ask stuff that I don't know how to respond to, so I, I don't. But, um, but you know, I, when it makes sense, I, I get back to people as, as quick as I can. Um, so uh, what else? Any other updates? What do you got? What do you got? Uh, to our friend in January, and no answer yet. It is what it is when people have lives, you know. True. Angry Etiquette says, I am in the same vote. Sent an email to our friend in January. To who? Or what friend? Me? Who? Um, uh, Bullet Journal's great tool. They really are. I looked up, I looked up uh, best, best, um, best organizers for ADHD. And, uh, and this Bullet Journal came up and I was like, wow, I wonder if I'll actually, oh, it was me. Oh my God, Angry Educator, what was it about? I don't even remember now. I'll have to look. Okay, yes, I'll look, Andrew, Angry Educator. See, this is what I mean. I just feel, I just, this is complete guilt and fear. <laughs> it's the general the general way I approach, I approach my email, my email inbox at this point. Um, all right, Angry Educator, I'll have a look. Am I looking for a specific, are you under an angry, angry Educator or the Stargate-based instructional online modules for kids? Oh, okay. Oh, am I looking for your name? Well, am I looking for the Angry Educator or was it under a different name? I get so confused. There's too many damn names. There's too many usernames. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, Oh, great. Lily. Oh, my God. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay. Yes, we shall chat. Um, oh, dear. But don't, I wouldn't share. Well, I mean, I, is it okay to share? I guess it's okay to share your email there. Um, all right. Yes, manages. Thanks. I'm part of the Ironham Discord. Uh, what do we got? Uh, Stargate Based Instructional Online Modules for Kids. Yes, right. Uh, you know what's so funny about that, Lily, uh, or I should say Angry Educator, um, is that I've been talking to MGM. I'm talking to one of their people again this afternoon. Oh, my God, I am. Man, I really do have to move. Um, and now I got to audition before I do my meeting. Um, uh, I'm actually talking to them about this. Well, was originally was their the Stargate game, but I'm a little concerned because I they're talking about like a Kickstarter and stuff, and I'm just not sure. I feel like if MGM is doing a Stargate game, I I don't know why they need a Kickstarter for that. But maybe it's because there's an independent company doing it. But if there's an independent company doing it, then I'm like, well, then why? I don't know. I'm just I got to find out how it's working because I'm I I don't really understand what's going on and how they want to do it. And of course it's taken months and months and months to do anything. And now this happens. So, you know, um, all right. Uh, uh, meh, it's fine. I have spares. <laughs> um, all right. Angry educator. I'll do my best to, 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 to get, to get to that. Um, I think I got back to you once and then probably left it after that, didn't I? Um, okay. Uh, my friends know not to panic if I don't respond because of my work and school schedule, but my friends at this point are like low maintenance. We connect like we just chatted yesterday, even if it's been for months. Yeah, well, I'm the same. I'm the same. My wedding ring, Dijk Grafen, is around my neck because what I've found is I'm washing my hands so much. I'm trying to keep my hands, um, uh, free of anything that could, that could, that could hold viruses. So I took off the wedding ring, wear it around my neck, um, and, along with a little pendant that my wife made for me when we first met, which is a little, so I, you can see it or not, but it's just, well, it's basically, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, um, it's a comedy and tragedy basically, uh, which is really funny because as she got to know me more, she realized that the last thing I normally wear is anything that has anything to do with being an actor. Uh, but, but I just thought it was kind of cute. Uh, okay. So what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Kickstarters have been rough on video games. A lot of them promise a lot and then just fall off the face of the earth. And that's, yeah, we'll see. Um, Dyke Graven. Uh, you are new or you have been lurking. Um, and man, you've got, you've got like a, you got like a keen eye. I can't believe you saw that. Um, I think I took it off originally, um, to do the, uh, the Guillermo del Toro, the latest Guillermo del Toro thing, a uh, film. And uh, I just wasn't sure that the guy would be married or not. I thought he probably wasn't. So, um, so I took it off for that. And then because we then got like taken down by the, the, by COVID, um, I never put it back on again because I thought, again, with the hand washing, it was just, it was sort of that, so sort of that important. Oh my gosh, I'm getting behind on the chat. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay. Um, uh, and I tend not to be too high maintenance, not great at knowing nuances of social stuff sometimes. Uh, well, you know, it's funny. I, I'm not sure I am either. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, look, it's one angry educator. It's one of those things that I'm afraid there's just, because... I think it's the, well, it's partially my own nature. I definitely, my biggest issue is, is sort of ADHD tendencies. No, I mean, just ADHD, basically. Um, I'm, uh, my organizational skills are terrible. Um, I find it very hard to sort of 
uh, prioritize things and focus on things. And I tend to be, there's a sort of a tendency with ADHD to focus on the now or the later. And uh, so there's a tendency to sort of go like, I will deal with this now by saying I will do it later. And then trying to manage your time becomes very difficult. So there's, there's a few things going on. And, and uh, you know, I, I, I figure that, um, you know, it's like a good example was James Gurney. So James and I probably hadn't spoken for a few years since we'd, uh, since we'd last sort of connected. Um, and uh, I just feel like eventually things, eventually things work out if they're, if they're, you know, if they, if they sort of, if, if things align in the proper way and, and, and I, uh, um, and I can, and I can make things happen, then fantastic. And if not, then I'm afraid some, it's just, unfortunately, it's not, not time to do everything, but, but uh, we'll see. I shall definitely try to make you a priority. Um, the problem is everyone's a priority, really. Um, what do we got? Uh, I had removed my rings and my Fitbit when COVID started. Did a lot of, so it's been, yeah, I took my, I don't wear my watch anymore either. Same thing. Haven't put them on since. Uh, it's weird, isn't it? I, I I hate not having a watch, but it's you know it's again another clunky thing to hang around. Um, I was trying to play on your Minecraft server, but no, but not on the whitelist. So Commander Ventura, you have to uh, get in touch with DStat, and maybe there's somebody who has already who could let you know how to do that. But if you let DStat know, you need to be whitelisted. He'll he'll whitelist you. Uh, Flare Spire. Oh, I know how you feel, David. Uh, uh, combination, AD, ADD, oh, combination, a combination of ADD and ADHD. See, we only have ADHD here. That's, we basically, they get lumped together. I'm not sure why exactly, but that's the thing. And Asperger's, um, and it gets annoying trying to, uh, annoying for me to manage my time sometimes. Yeah. I mean, it's, and that's it. I think there's one of the things that I had no idea when I sort of started looking into the ADHD side of stuff was that, um, uh, uh, it, you know, it leads to anger, it leads to frustration, it leads to depression, it leads to, um, um, anxiety. I mean, there's just, there's all these different aspects of it that I had no idea. But I mean, again, I'm not making excuses. I don't, I don't, I still think of it as like a superpower. I still think of it, no, I don't even think of it as a superpower. I think of it as my personality. It's just who I am. So, you know, I've dealt with it this long. I'll continue to deal with it. But, but at the same time, it's just kind of fun to have, to see those cues, to see those little things where you go like, oh, look at that. That's, that makes sense. That's why that bothers me more than it should. Or that's why that doesn't bother me at all. And it should. Um, uh, yes, Pac Bomb. We should get you whitelisters as well. Uh, post the picture of the replicator on Discord if you want to see them. Thank you very much, Mercury Prince. I shall check it out. My OCD is my superpower. Yeah, Geezer Geek. I mean, that's it. I mean, like, like that's, I think that's the only way to look at the stuff. Like, I think we have a lot of different terms for this stuff, but the reality is it still comes down to that's who you are. So you work with what you've got and, and, and I think you can try to fight it or you can try to work with it. I mean, and I think it's a, maybe there's a, a little bit of, of both in some situations, but the reality is like, we are who we are. We're like a weird bunch of people hanging out together on a switch on a, on a stream chat. I haven't even bothered to shower. So, you know what I mean? Like it's, uh, that's kind of fun. It's kind of a neat little, uh, neat little, uh, community. Ruby K. Thank you very much. Very good point. Um, Angry Educator, yes, see, that's it. I make, I think my autism makes me awesome in a lot of ways because I'm really good at some things. I tend to be hyper-focused to an extreme when I love something and so worth the trade-off of not understanding most facial expressions. Yeah, I mean, that's it. That's that's the only way to look at it, Angry Educator. I mean, I think that's, you know, um, and also, I mean, in some ways, like social cues, they're just what everyone's agreed on, right? So, um, <laughs> in a way, in a way, like, you know, um, uh, one of the things I absolutely love is... Um, are these training courses or these acting courses? The only acting court. Well, I shouldn't say that. What am I saying? Never say never. I was gonna say the only acting lessons I would ever teach would be to to kids with autism to help you know teach them how to uh, how to understand social cues because I just think acting is a great way. You learn to look people in the eyes. You learn so you learn eye contact. You learn um, the 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 proper responses. Um, you know, I think there's some really neat stuff you can get from that. I'd love to actually if anyone knows anything about that. Let me know because I would love to love to know more about that. I worked with an actress on um, Turkey Drop, this uh, silly little fun, silly little uh, movie we did uh, for. I think it was was it for Disney, or it was, it was like a Disney offshoot. It was like the it was like Disney's Hallmark um, with Olivia Holt, who's just lovely. It was just a whole bunch of them were lovely. Uh, just a bunch of kids. They're um, you know um, amazing, amazing bunch of of young young actors and I guess stars of some sort. Um, 
you know, I was obviously too old. I was just, I was absolutely just um, thrilled to be married to the, uh, uh, to the wife in, um, um, uh, in uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm, uh, who, of course, I've naturally, as always, I've forgotten names because I suck at names. There must be something. Tell me there is some kind of a condition where you can't remember names. It's got to be, you know. Uh, okay, turkey drop was fun, but I got hungry looking at the pizza. Yeah, you got hungry? I had to throw fake pizzas. I had to toss fake pizzas in a pizzeria. Although I did get a lot of free pizza now I think about it. Because I did practice. I practiced on a bunch of pizza. And then the guy like said, what, do you, what kind of pizza do you like? I was like, every pizza. So he made me a pizza with everything on it. David, time. Thank you, Harklight. Okay, I tweeted you today about Atlant. Oh, about Atlas Craft. A map of CERN and the Atlas detector in Micah. Oh, wow. Oh, dude. Okay, I'll have to look at that. Um, all right, everybody. Uh, thank you very, very much. As I say, this is a burn and learn. I'll come back. Uh, probably this afternoon with, with Bratlett. Oh, will I? My meeting's late. Well, I'll try to. Uh, Bratlett may be on, but um, I know he, I mean, he, he absolutely adores streaming. And you know what? And thank you. I'm going to say that right now. Thank you. Because everyone has been so incredibly inviting and respectful um, and, uh, and looking out for him. And, and I, I cannot tell you how, how wonderful that is. I mean, I'm, I'm almost nervous because I'm like, I'm like, this isn't how the internet usually is. Uh, everyone has just been ridiculously um, uh, kind and, 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 uh, and sort of responsive to, to, to him and his, his online stuff. And I really very, very much appreciate it. So, um, oh my gosh, I'm getting all mushy now. I must be, I must be getting low blood sugar or something. I'm like, my, my, my guard's going down. I'm starting to sound like a human. Um, okay, everybody, um, lots of love. Thank you very much. I'll let you know how it goes. The audition coming up. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any kind of VFX I can put in it. Probably not because it's due today. And the, I always at the last minute decide, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll put the entire, um, you know, I'll put, uh, well, there you go. I'll put the CERN facility behind me so it looks like, I real, like I'm a real scientist. And then, of course, you know, it'll, it says like, oh, rendering four days or whatever. So um, thank you very much. Uh, so until we geek again, as I would say, sweaty or not, cheerio. And then there's like five minutes as I figure out. So I try to figure out how to turn this thing off because my son's not here to help. Uh, let me, I'm guessing that the big button that says stop streaming will probably do it. So see you later. Thanks much. <laughs>